Oh no, it's something about Wiener Schnitzel that just, something about like just the vibes here. It usually just looks a little more sketch than the other places, but it's summertime. I haven't had a hot dog in a long time. They got this new barbecue luau burger, uh, luau fries, and the luau dog. They also got this frosted Kellogg's Fruit Loop dipped cone and shake, which sounds kind of good, but we're here for the dog and the fries. Let's get after it. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel here at Banger Bites. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Today's about new beginnings. We are at Wiener Schnitzel for the first time in probably a decade. Let's see what they got. Oh, how can I help you? Hey, how you doing? Good, thank you, how can I help you? Good, good. Can I get the, uh, the, the new Luau dog as well as the Luau fries? Okay, anything else? No, nah, that'll do it. Line 40, thank you. Thank you. In case y'all are wondering on pricing uh, for the hot, the luau dog and the luau fries after tax, it's nine nine fourteen. I don't know if you guys can even see that. Not not the worst. It's decent pricing. I'm not gonna call it like a a banger bargain, so to speak. But nine fourteen for a couple items, not too bad. All right, we just got our food. We ordered the luau dog. We ordered the luau fries. I wasn't sure if the the Fruit Loops shake was new. Uh, it was not new, so that kind of just takes away from the nostalgia of it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna pass, but I do got the dog and the luau fries. Pretty kind of excited, actually. It's, I don't know, it's just, it's summertime. Again, I got the Hawaiian shirt. I got the, the moonroof open. How am I gonna know if I don't try it? I gotta, I gotta, I've driven by that Wiener Schnitzel probably like a thousand times, and I just look at it, and I'm just like, who goes there? Like, why would anyone go to Wiener Schnitzel? There's so many better options out there, but you know what? Like. My mom taught me, do not judge a book by its cover. I'm sure everyone's mom taught him that, hopefully. So I'm going to give it a shot. You know, let's find out. Let's see what it's like on the inside, right? So this must be the fries. And here's the dog. No sort of special packaging here. I'm going to try to do something different today. I'm going to try to not spill food all over my car. And... A little bit of technical difficulties here with the box, and there you go. Let's see if we can get that. So this is the Luau Dog. It doesn't look bad. So what you got here is an all-beef hot dog. Let's see if we can get that to focus a little bit. An all-beef hot dog uh, inside of a steam bun. It's topped with this Luau sauce, which is like a habanero, sriracha, uh, guava based sauce so you get kind of the sweet spicy tangy from the sauce the onions the grilled onions which is going to add to the flavor of course uh, you also have chopped bacon in here and then diced pineapple so as far as the flavor profile I really like kind of everything that they're giving you here I feel like it's a lot of like balance if that makes sense you got sweet hot tangy zesty so I'd say the reason why I don't go to Wiener Schnitzel more than anything else is just because I feel like hot dogs are just super easy to make. It's not hard to like boil or microwave a dog at home. Whereas a lot, of, a lot of the other fast food places, like I'm probably not making a Taco Bell item. Yeah, you can make burgers at home, but you know, the toppings and whatnot and the way they prepare it. I just feel like Wiener Schnitzel, a hot dog, bun, ketchup, mustard. But when you put toppings like this out, it's, it's kind of worth me giving it a shot. It's a little hard to see the bacon but just so you know, it's there. All right, let's get into it, folks. Hmm? Uh oh. Wow. I'm gonna leave you guys with the suspense. One more bite. Hmm. Okay. Pleasantly surprised. I am. It's cross-section. I know it might not look 
that appealing, although it looks pretty good, I think. But the flavors in here work really well. They really do. Um, it's exactly kind of what I was hoping for. So you get, the first thing that I pick up on is the pineapple and the guava. I get the sweetness. And then the heat comes in from the sriracha on the back end. The onions just kind of enhance all the flavors. The hot dog, I'm not getting like the snap you would hope for, hope for from like a really, really good quality, like New York style dog. But again, you know, you're at Wiener Schnitzel, so you gotta temper your expectations, kind of. Lost a little bit of onion there, that's okay. And then the bacon too, the smokiness of the bacon. There's a lot going on here and I like it. I really do. Mm. And the bacon's still crispy. Man. I feel like a lot of people are not going to try this and they should. Comment below. I want to know, like, first of all, do you have a wiener schnitzel in your neighborhood? They're not as abundant as, like, a McDonald's or a Taco Bell or a Burger King, obviously. But do you have one in your neighborhood? And when was the last time you've been to one? Finito, that was really good. That was actually really good. I'm pretty surprised. Like if I was at a ball game, I know it's kind of weird to get like a, a Hawaiian style burger at a, at a ball game, but maybe it's like a promo day, Hawaiian day at the yard, they're giving away Hawaiian shirts and they're serving the Hawaiian dog. I would be totally satisfied with that dog while I'm watching the game. Again, perfect timing for the promo too, summertime. You gotta give me a reason to go to Wiener, Wiener Chest Like I wanna go there, but give me a reason to go there. Okay, let's try out the fries. Okay, so here is the fries. And again, I know it like, looks kind of messy, but this is, from my understanding, all the same flavors, but just on top of their French fries as opposed to a dog. Little worried if the fries are still gonna have like any crunch. I don't expect there to be that much crunch. You got a lot of stuff on top of here. But again, let's try and eat this and not spill this all over the ride. Get a good bite. Mm. Okay. So. So what I'll say about this is like, I feel like this, the toppings kind of overpower the fries in this case. And I'm getting just a lot of like, just the saucy flavor, flavor. Um, The fries have a decent crunch. I wouldn't get this again. I wouldn't. I'm not mad at it. I don't like not like it, obviously. I'm, I'm going back in for another bite, but something about the hot dog on the last one, and then the bun probably too, like it really just kind of helps sort of mute the, the, the flavors of the toppings in a, like to where it's not being taken over, and I like that. No. Well, one more look at the fries. It doesn't look that appealing. It's not that appealing. This is all right. The hot dog though, and that's what that's what they're known for. I can't really judge them for the fries because I'm not really getting fries at Wiener Schnitzel. I mean, to be honest, I'm not really going to Wiener Schnitzel, right? I haven't been here in like a decade, but I'm happy I did today. Um, if I had to score these, I'll start with the 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 headliner, which is the hot dog. You guys are gonna be surprised. I'm gonna go like I'm gonna go eight. About crazy scores too early in my review career here. I'm gonna go like 8.2. I hope I didn't just spit. I'm gonna go 8.2 on the Luau dog. I'm gonna go 7.1 on the Luau fries. Uh, the Luau dog was really good though. All the flavors like balance each other out. 
complemented each other really, really well. I would 100% order that again. I'm getting yelled at over here at the parking lot. I don't know why. The luau fries, you can miss me with that. I'm not too excited about those. Had to try it though. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Have you guys, again, have you guys been to Wiener, Wiener Schnitzel recently? Have you guys tried any other items on their menu that I should know about? Are you looking forward to trying the luau dog? Also, I was just thinking about this as I was driving up to Wiener Schnitzel. I can't remember the last, um, I haven't been to Hawaii in like 20 years. Uh, and I do want to go back. I'm just like, not because of this release. This is not like what made me want to go to Hawaii, obviously. But like, I've been thinking about it for a while. Comment below on like what islands you think are really worth going to. I'm looking for something like kind of chill, a little bit of entertainment here and there, but nothing too crazy. I don't want like big city vibes. I want this to be a vacation. So if you got any recommendations on where to go in, uh, in Hawaii, let me know. I'll bring my shirt. I'll get one of the little delays or whatever it is. I want to do the big pork roast. Uh, is that the luau? Yeah, luau. That's all I got today, man. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really, really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time on Banger Bites.